We're here with Helene Suller, uh, one of the another winner of the awards, with uh, a painting she's done called Afternoon Light. Neil, I'm going to let you uh, help and talk to Helene about the artistic merits and and what she did. Certainly, one of the reasons that we picked this uh, particular painting is my uh, co juror Dan Christfell and I really liked the way that she seems to have captured this color harmony that's infused in everything. She didn't just paint a green lily pad and you know brown yellow earth colored reeds and then a blue sky. She has a way of incorporating the, the colors throughout in a very harmonious fashion and in some places she's decided to leave parts of the canvas coming through. So she's made these editorial decisions. It's sort of like writers. You write something, you read it, you proofread it, and you say, I can say this better if I lift this out. And so artists are constantly editing themselves, deciding they're, they're being very selective, what to put in and what to leave out. And I think she's done this masterfully. Elaine, did you know that you were that good? <laughs> I keep working. <laughs> it, it is. It's, it's a wonderful painting, and, and you walk by, it catches your eye. You're you're sucked into it. But tell us about the painting and how you came to the inspiration for it. Well, I was originally inspired by uh, being upstate New York and uh, seeing these water plants in uh, natural light, in that special light of the Adirondacks, and uh, I decided to try a few paintings on that theme. And I've been working on them ever since. Uh, the theme it resounds within me because of the beautiful light. Uh, the, uh, the water reflects the sky as well as the surface and also things that are surrounding the water. So I try to build that into the composition. And, and if I may just interject, one thing that I think what she just said is what Monet did for the, like the last third of his life. He built those gardens, he cultivated those gardens in Giverny, and next May I'm taking a group of students, well, to Italy and to France, and one of the places we're going to is Giverny oh, to see oh, Monet's, <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, because it's similar to this. Yes, yes. Are, are your paintings for sale? Yes, they are. So I could buy this now before you're recognized as a new Monet and make a killing, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and you're having an exhibition. Let's yes. tout your exhibition. Uh, I'm also showing my National Park series at the Plaxall Building in Long Island City uh, with the Long Island City artists. It's a big gallery with 12,000 square feet of space, and it's all it has art all over the walls. Beautiful. Well, well, we're we're actually we're, we're going to be covering that. So I love that you're going to be there. So I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you so much thank for helping so much. us with this. And great work and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi.